Ahoy, mateys. Know, o prince, that between the years when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities and the years of the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of, when shining kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars. Hither came Conan, the Sumerian, black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in hand, a thief, a reaver, a slayer, with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirth to tread the jeweled thrones of the earth under his sandaled feet, destined to wear the crown jeweled or excuse me, the jeweled crown of Aquilonia upon his troubled ground. But this is not his story. And so instead, we turn eyes out into the Baracus Islands and the crew of a pirate ship. Their stories are many and varied, not to be kings in their future, yet still destiny has touched their lives. Let me tell you the days of high seas adventure. Once again, we are back with our players uh, for Conan the Pirate under Black Sails. Uh, when we left off, things were, things were a little troubled. Um, the uh, crew had just run into a privateer who was chasing them through a storm. The a Argosian fire jet sat at the front of this ship, uh, ready to sink the grim Argosian in a bath of Argosian fire. And so I want to reintroduce our, our players once more. Uh, I have Dionysus playing the now Captain Lambro. Captain Lambro, please tell me what's going through your mind staring down this privateer that's on your aft. Well, as you can see, the surprise, it has the weather gauge. So right now it is... Oops, I can hear myself, sorry. As you can <laughs> see, we are trying to at least avoid the... Argosian fire, because we're going to take that surprise, a prize. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, um, a little nervous, but we're going to kick his ass. So there's that. Fantastic. And now we have Severian, Sever Severians, Severian, playing Fausto, a, a dealer in the dark arts who at the beginning of the fight had prayed to his deity to summon a beast from the deep, which nothing really ever happened with that, sadly. Um, but Fausto, what's going through your mind right now? Yes, I am the one known as Fausto Blackthorn. And I still have faith that Father Dagon will provide assistance, and in return, he shall have sacrifice. Manning the catapult, one of the two siege weapons on the Grim Argosian, is Gannis, played by Hades. Gannis, what is going through your mind currently? Gannis is getting frustrated because he's tried, what, three times now to launch the catapult on the ship that's quickly closing the gap, and he's missed every time so far, so... He's getting a little frustrated while still trying to keep his calm and aim the catapult right. And then at the helm, guiding the Grim Argosian through troubled waters is Aaron, played by Anthony. What's going through Aaron's young mind? Well, you know, I think last time we had our all of our siege weapons break the first time we use it, so I'm pretty pissed off I missed that during our routine inspection. Um, I feel pretty bad for our ship right now, although I'm so happy to be skipping it through the water um, like the good old days. And last but certainly not least, from Diesel Shot, a very good friend of ours, Lee. Let me hold on a second. I need to I need to throw a little bit of shill out there into the uh, the chat. Uh, plays Cord, a sergeant of Marines on the Grim Argosian. What is going through Cord's mind currently? Ah, oh, matey. Kor is looking out and feeling the fates of fortune, and he's learned through his long criminal as a mercenary and definitely not war criminal. That one should always keep an ear to the ground and your heart as empty as a sail, because the wind could blow in any direction, but this day, it's going to be them or us. And Kor is certain it's not going to be him this day. So it's time to put those Argosians in the fucking sea. And that time has come, and when we last left off, the Grim Argosian was being chased by a privateer known as the Surprise. 
And it was back to your turn. Remember that the in this game, unless I spend Doom, you get to go first. And so we are back to you, Captain Lambro. What are you doing? You're muted, muted. you miscreant rat. Ah, it's the wind in the rain. You'll shut your mouth, helmsman. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to see, um... Oh. Nick, thanks for the sub, buddy. We appreciate you, and we love you very much. Oh, it's thank great you. to see thank you. Thank you. Glad thank you could join the, uh, the stream today. I know you usually got something going on Tuesdays. Good to see you, buddy. Are all our uh, ballistas and catapults up and running? Or all of your ballistas are up and running, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I don't want to do that. Um, then I'm going to, uh, well, I think what I'll do is I'll assist, uh, I'll assist the ballista. Assist the ballista. All right. So you're doing a command check, I assume. I give me, give me some of that, that hot command check. Hot command. I think that's the one I'm looking for. Yikes. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, da -da. I know that. Oh. A complication has been triggered, but you have <laughs> one success, so you are able to command the ballista to fire. Do you want it to fire now? Yeah. All right, are we targeting people or are we targeting the ship? Um, we're going to target people. We're going to target people. Roger that. All right. So let me get to this is the ballista crew. All right. So um, they end up lining um, up to fire. What? For that complication, can I do a reroll with my uh, talent? What is your talent? Uh, Captain. Yes, you may. Okay, slash roll so just 1d20. Roll one. Yep, okay. slash roll 1d20. Okay, so you now have a second success. What are you using that success for? Um, well, for momentum, we're going to... We're going to do a called shot to the front of the, the ship where, there were, where the, the main group of pirates are working on the uh, Argosian fire device. Okay, so you're targeting the crew of the Argosian that are on the Argosian fire. Correct. Got it, on it. Okay, so that is a challenging roll. Uh, this is their agility check and roll. You've got this, Cap. Hi. So the, the javelin flies across the rain kind of striking around it, and it just seems to wreath this javelin. And you see it spear through one of the men that's holding the Argosian cannon, and it hits the second one behind him and knocks them both to the deck. You see the Argosian fire, the, the, the mouth of it kind of aim upwards. Um, it doesn't shoot off or anything, but it's definitely aiming upwards. The crew that were on it have been wounded. All right, who's next? You guys get to pick the order. I'm I'm chilling. Um, <laughs> I think Corey is waiting ready for the uh, the boarding action. So yeah, I was gonna say, weren't you standing by? I mean, you can assist right now if you want. Cause... What I had done, I ha I'm I have a not incredible entirely shit uh, command roll, but um, if there's nothing readied up to get commanded right now, then I'm holding my re marines ready to try and fucking uh, light them up once we get in bow range. Right. Captain, speaking of that, um, you want me to bring us in range? Bring us in close. I, you want to come about? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I just, I just watched you javelin their, uh, their, like, their, uh, you know, their weapon that we were scared of. So, I think, I think I did anyway. If you want to bring us about, so full sail takes you 60 yards plus an extra 10 if uh, we get momentum, right? 
That should yeah. be correct. I think I have that on the thing. Yes, sorry, I'm in a different window right now. That will cut us about two turns, or maybe one, depending on if they stick with it, um, in hopes that they don't set it again. So, um, I bring us about. Let us take All advantage right. of the situation. So I'm going to do an action um, on target. Uh, vessel moves anywhere within its current zone uh, and, or into adjacent zone. I can move into reach of another vessel. Um, so we remember we go by distance. So right, right. And if you go into the ship based house rules that on target standard move, the vessel moves anywhere within 10 yards. Oh, I see. I see. What's your plan, Helmsman? Um, all right, fuck it. Let's go full sail. I'm going to bring it around and we're going to go right for it. OK, roll your sailing. So is those she legs, Merchant Boy. Hi. And oh. after my after my strike with the uh, ballista, I run up to the Helmsman and I'm holding his shoulder and I'm pointing. Bring us about. All right, so give me give me a uh, indicator which direction you're heading so that I can uh, tell you what happens here. All right, so um, obviously we're going this way, right? So I'm going to attempt to use a ruler. Sorry, that's what I need you to do. You see it? I, ca yeah. I cannot see a ruler anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I see everyone else's rulers. I do not see yours. You see mine? Yes. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> you don't have access. You haven't learned math yet. Why can't you see my rules? Um, so are you going like north, west, east? What? So okay, I can yeah, see okay. yours. I'll mimic yours. Do yours, all right, all right. Aaron. So we're, we're already cutting this Aaron. way, right? So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to cut down and then cut back up. So like 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 this yep, down. Yep. And down and across. Yeah, we're bringing it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. I don't see yours either. What the fuck? Is that going against the wind, though? Uh, um, it will be at some point. So yeah, we will be. Yeah, we'll have to tack. So full full sail, standard action move, roll a sailing at difficulty two. The ship moves 60 yards plus 10 yards per momentum. If the ship fails, the ship may only move 30 yards. So you needed to get two successes in order to pass. You did not get both, which means that you can move a total of 30 yards. If you want to okay. go down, yards. you wouldn't have any issue, right? If you want to go this way, you're only going to be able to go half of that. That makes sense. All right, okay, we'll so go straight down then, 30. Okay, so go for it. You should be able to move the ship, I think. Cool. So the... Uh, you uh you need to bring the ship around so I, it, that takes a little bit and you're kind of getting the everyone the full sail because you were at half sail before kind of getting everything maneuvered and set up um to do your to do your killings uh let's see here that leaves Gannis, Fausto, and Cord. Gannis fires his catapult. Mm. All right, so let's see what distance. I will you're assist at. with that. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, two hundred yards. That's me. That is that medium range. Uh, we need to check that because if you're at medium range, your difficulty is actually going to go up by one. No, it's that long. You're still good. No, it's long. Okay, uh, so yeah, you have a long. difficulty three with the catapult. Um, give me one second. He's assisting. So it's been a while since we've done an assist roll. If I remember right, yes. Okay, so. Um, Fausto, you will roll 1d6 against your warfare. Uh, Gannis, you uh, roll your warfare. Do you want to spend any doom to get extra dice? <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll it, both of you. Do I need to roll that in my sheet somehow or just roll a d6? Uh, you can roll it in your sheet as warfare and I'll just take the first die. Okay. That way we, we know. And I'm rolling this difficulty one average. Just uh, roll it three at three. I'll, three. I'll calculate Daunting. it. Daunting. Yes. I'm being daunted. You're being daunted. Hmm. Ooh. Fausto does not help. What does double thirteens get me? Um. You. Fast somebody loves you. 
So <laughs> you you launch the uh, the catapult again, but maybe it's just the way that Aaron Aaron tries to tack because he kind of judders the ship around as he brings it around hard and takes it to the south. Uh, it just throws off your aim. You're not able to get that thing quick enough, and the uh, the rock goes sailing off to the uh, uh, north. Cord. Guinness is uh, saying every pirate naughty word in the book right now. Is he about to load <laughs> himself up into it? <clears throat> toss me. He's toss about me. to toss himself. Toss me. I, so I have confirmed that, like, me and the boys have fucking, um... We've got fucking, like... Javelins, so I don't think we're going to be uh, doing too much at this range. So no. I'm going to hold this in reserve to do any emergency repair actions that might arise. Oh, nice, good idea. That's a beautiful idea. I like that. All right, so the time, and so we start with oh, captain, my captain. Uh, this is social difficulty one. All these surprise scurvy dogs aren't worth one of us. Okay, maybe they're worth half of us. They So you nothing. see you see a woman on the on the uh, on the aft castle. She she gets up. She was down on the deck. Um something happened back there and she see her get up and she pulls something out of her shoulder and she throws it to the ground. You can't hear her over the storm and the winds and the the rain. But you see her pointing and gesturing and you see one of these crews that were, you know, had uh, air, bows and arrows uh, kind of chuck them to the ground and run up to that Argosian fire um, and they start to man it uh, once more. You see her point to the helmsman and she's, she's giving gestures as she pulls out her uh, spyglass and is eyeballing you down. <laughs> catching, they trying to see me catching scurvy. Trying to see me catching scurvy. Everyone, um, do, 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 do. sorry, I need to do one little quick check here. Everyone, do a discipline test. Difficulty. Sorry. Discipline. Discipline. Discipline is. Oh. Discipline. <laughs> Uh, gotta, just, I'm looking at like three different books here. Uh, uh, complication. See, there it is. Uh, Argosy Fire. Uh, so, um, two at difficulty two. Okay. Gannis, you are you are a man who understands engineering and nothing that happens now bothers you at all. Cord. <coughs> Sorry, give me one second. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, ignore where this is coming from. I just need the uh, the look. Uh, let's see here. Does this have it on here? Nope. Eh, I'll just do it like this. Uh, cord. You take two. Do you have any courage? Not, I'm not asking if you are a courageous man, but are you? Do you have any courage, like the actual soaking ability of courage? Uh, I do not see courage as a talent. It would be. I think it's on the first page. Let me let me take a look at your sheet really quick. Uh, you guys are PCs, so this is going to be I'm, PCs. I don't see any listers here. It's forward. first page on the yeah, left. First page, courage on the left hand side. All right, Zero. you you take you take three uh, resolve damage. Oh, All I'm right. gonna be hurting here. Uh, Fausto, Fausto, you you are you're just a, a 
a man who shows no fear. You're able to hold on. Uh, Aaron. One, two, three, four. Do you have any courage, Aaron? First, top of your no. beginning of sheet. Okay, you take four resolve damage. Just underneath taking a wound to your brain. Lambro. No courage. One. You take one resolve damage. The ship, they must have they must have done what you did. They they scraped the barnacles off because this is moving across the water at an absolutely insane speed. Unfortunately, it doesn't get within medium range, so it's not able to torch you, but a rip of fire goes flying across the, the ocean, and the scene this just strikes you with a bout of fear. And then... Pirate uh, bombs. Oh, yes. I too had a free drink for our for this occasion to fight out the scurvy. Okay. Okay. Two agility. Bam. Oh! Oh no. We in trouble now, boys. Fausto, cast a shield over our ship. <laughs> Fausto, cast shield! Fausto, the, the, the shooting has started. What are you doing? <laughs> Deflect on the list, eh? Six. And... Sorry, give me one more second here. Uh, why isn't it letting me... Should let me do damage, but it is not. Yeah, you don't yes. have to. You don't have to do damage. Don't worry about it. Okay. You're just, just uh, we negate it all. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So we negated it all. Yes. We yeah, did. Nothing. Nothing happened. Ten. Fuck yeah. Fausto, are you wearing armor currently? Um, the I'm armor sure. of immodesty. I think I, <laughs> I think I actually had a leather jacket on, or something like that. Tough and leather jacket, yeah. Which is how much armor? Uh, one armor. So one armor. Okay, so you take two health damage. So a, a a massive javelin rips off from the the central area of this ship, and slams through the the uh, board rails on your ship and it sends shrapnel flying everywhere one of the spears ends up impaling one of Taito's men the shrapnel oh. completely shreds another one of his men Fausto you're near him on the catapult and you happen to get a little bit of that wooden shrapnel you see marines moving up beginning to uh, load up a grapnel inside of that ballista and they're beginning to uh, get ready. My something, ship! Something a little strange happens. Even across the... There we, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Even across the, the hundreds of yards that you are away from this ship, you hear what sounds like a creaking of wood and a crunch and you see the front end of the surprise dip down into the water and the aft actually begin to rise up and the ship shudders and shakes as it tries to kind of stabilize itself. Everyone give me an observation check. Mm, the Dark Lord has come upon us. Thought. You said observation. Difficulty one. one. Yes, observation. Difficulty one. Yep. Fausto, how you want to spend that momentum? Aaron, waiting on you. Sorry. 
I know. I'm sorry. You're, you're fine. You're fine. I just I want to make sure that I made a mental note of it. Um, I'm just gonna bank it. Bank you. Nice. Bank it. 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 So, Aaron. Aaron, you and Fausto are kind of like really concentrating on, you know, seeing everything. But everyone that passed the roll ends up seeing this. You see tentacles that are larger around than a man begin to reach up and wrap themselves around this ship. It's the Kraken! Dagon be blessed. Oh, Back to you shabai. guys. Oh, num I, I look over at uh, Fausto and I'll be like, can you control that beast? I can try. But if Dagon wishes to take the, all of the plunder down to the depths with him, so be it. No, fuck that! I'm pulling us out of here! So you see on board that they're they're fighting for their lives. You see arrows flying downwards. You see javelins being thrown into the water. You see swords and spears stabbing. And you see the ballista, them throw out the grapnel and they're beginning to load in something else. And you see the Argosian fire jet is actually going to be starting to turn towards its own vessel. You guys are up. Captain Lambro. <clears throat> you have... <clears throat> You don't know if you can control the beast, Fausto. I can try, Captain. Um, Aye, because so we cannot get close. If that beast is there, shall it take us down into the locker as well? And I'll, I'll let, because uh, we can decide who goes first, right? If that's the case. Oh, yeah, I'll let absolutely. Doug, I'll let Doug go first. Who's Doug? All right. Um, <laughs> Doug. So Fausto, Fausto is... Uh, <laughs> going to the front of the ship, getting down on his knees and just praying to Dagon, basically trying to um, do what he can to uh, make sure that this creature doesn't destroy our own ship and maybe leaves a little bit of something for us to loot. Are you using, what What uh, spell are you gonna use for this? Uh, well, the spell I used to summon the it spell was- spell of uh, pleading. <laughs> <laughs> with some in a horror, but uh, yeah, I'm not really. I mean, the, the all of the momentum spends and stuff from some in a horror is what goes into controlling it. OK, um, so I would say then that this is going to be a sorcery check at um, given the, si the the beast that you're you're dealing with, um, because you pu you basically punched everything into trying to get the best beast that you possibly could, if I remember correct. Yes, I think so yeah i don't yeah, remember that's, that's specifically what I recall. um you uh it's going to be a difficulty three okay uh First do you guys care if i spend momentum. the momentum yeah right. go ahead wait I, I did say difficulty three you said yes sir <clears throat> Ooh, a one. Oh wow six <laughs> successes he's about to run this like a puppet <laughs> Wow, how uh, how do you want to spend that uh, that momentum? Um, I don't oh, remember the the like name of the momentum spend or whatever, and I don't have the sh the spell up in front of me. But it was basically for controlling it, and communicating with the beast. Um, but I want to try and command it to uh, just attack the people on board and not go after our ship. Those are like the two main things. So that we have there, that ship is left there in okay. some amount, so we can plunder it. Loot. Loot. Okay. And hopefully the U.S. alone too, right? I'm looking at some of the horror game master calls. Yeah, he, D3. he included that. Oh, the <laughs> spell of each right. crew. Some of the horror. Spell of each crew. Though it will obey simple commands, provided it's capable of doing so. Soon knowledge, following. Okay, sorry, I'm just I'm reading through really quick. Yep. There, well, there's the, the table for momentum yeah, spent. that's what I'm so looking at. Demand a more complex action. Do my bidding. Did you say okay. kill us? Oh. Okay, so um, 
you uh you see you you feel in your mind that you touch the the strange you know deep sea intelligence of this creature whether it was summoned from the sea or if it actually came from another plane you don't know but this creature is it has an intelligence to it and you feel it push back against you this is not a creature that wants to be ordered to do things but you do see the the arms of the beast uh by the way knock your resolve down by one um you do see the arms of the beast that are around the ship loosen and that these kind of come up and start lashing out at the crew, which will happen during its turn. Uh, so what am I doing, Captain? Are we going to land or? Uh, um, so I'm gonna actually go up to the helm and I'm gonna assist uh, Anthony on the helm. I'm going to shout back towards Kor. Kord, get your men ready. We are going to take her. Okay. I, I look at the tentacles. I look at you and I'm struggling. I'm like, we're going in. And I, I'll got my arm on um, Aaron's shoulder and I'll say, take Fausto. us close, but Fausto. not all the way in. Fausto, Captain. give me a, give me a, I'm oh, sorry. You were probably going to say something. Let's see if we were matching what we were, what I'm thinking. Go ahead. Captain, I would advise keeping our distance from these tentacles of the creature you see there. <laughs> Allow it to do its job. Aye. Aaron takes a long way, but keep us going. Okie dokie. Fausto, give me a uh, sorcery check at difficulty two with no chance for complications or for momentum. Nice. Okay, um, I will send you a message. So I can't seem to get my uh, numbers right on like my uh, vigor and resolve. Is the the small number supposed to be current or max? I think the small number is current, or I'm sorry, max. Big numbers current. Okay. Couldn't get. I couldn't get either of them to work. I spent like ten minutes like trying to fuck around with which one was which, and I just left the small number of zero and recorded <laughs> my max and my fucking uh, bio. Yeah. Let me know if you figured it out. All right. I'll just we'll, record we'll it a, we'll elsewhere. A, yeah, no. We'll take a look at that later. Okay. I sent you a message, uh, Seth. All right, Lambro. Uh, who's going next? I. It's going to be Aaron. All right, Aaron. How? What? Are, what are we doing? So we're bringing this around the long way. The sorcery so has started, be... Aaron. <laughs> the sorcery has started, Aaron. What are you doing? Uh, we're gonna do some uh, like catty corner, like uh, like zigzags here yeah, to try to like. Yeah, zigzags. To... <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me one do second. Stuff. All right, so uh, if you're heading directly into the wind as your final movement, right? This is how we're doing this, just to for simplicity's sake. If you're heading directly into the wind as your final movement, your difficulty check is gonna go up by two. If you're going within the yellow, which is not directly, so it'd be kind of like yep. this or like this, then you would be, your difficulty would increase by one. Yeah, so if I'm looking, I'm, I'm really just trying to go like, I wish you guys could see my thing. Um, uh, are you brown? Here, no, I'm Why going this way. Look, look, see? No, I'm brown. Okay, then you that wouldn't be into the wind at all. You're fine. Um, right. So, so like uh, this. yes. So go. Are you going full sail, half sail? Uh, so let's just go half sail because we're just trying to kill time at this point. Okay, so uh, roll sailing difficulty one. Yes, boss. Bank uh, it. Let's see here. Uh, ship based house rules, half sail, half sail, roll difficulty sailing one. You can move but 30 yards plus 10 yards per momentum spent. So we'll just bank it. OK, and we'll move 30. All righty. All right. Who's next? Um, Lee, your Marines are on standby, right? I, I mean, we're, I got nothing to do until, unless uh, I can try and make a, I'm terrible at it, but we got hit, right? Yes. Like we um, we did, damage. yes. So it, I had it, my boys. 
It didn't hurt end. people. It just hurt. Or it didn't hurt the ship. It just hurt people. Okay. So well, there's nothing for me to do here, but wait until okay. we're in grappling range, right? Yeah. Unless you want to like, shoot the kraken. I think you're within don't range. Shoot to the shoot kraken. the kraken. Uh, yeah, well, kraken. I don't have. I don't actually. Have, um, me and my boys don't have ja have bows. We have javelins. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, the the maximum on that one is close range. Sorry. I mean, you I'm could just, you I'm could still... issue. There are Marines on board that do have bows and can reach that. If I remember correctly, I set the the bows as being able to reach out to the entire uh, range. I won't. I mean, yeah, but the, the issue so, is I don't want to accidentally hit the Kraken, so I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yeah. If uh, if that was I was just going to say if, if we hit this thing, it might push back against um, Faustos, and and. We want to use it to advantage for as long as we can. So if you want to maybe issue some orders to have other people prepare to um, prepare to board. That's yes. that's fine. Is we that a command? Yeah. Yeah, because there's several other crews on here that um, we'll probably yeah. need to get ready if we want them I'm to. Gonna, assist I'm going to tell the sergeants to, you know, get get fucking ready to go. Uh, is that a command roll or I'm just saying that? You're just saying that we'll save your uh, we'll save your action for something that actually happens um, if you end up closing with him this round, which you actually won't. So, um, yeah, go ahead and issue out a command, and we'll save that command for um, whenever you board. So, command at difficulty one. Get ready. We're taking her. Bye, surprise. You generated a momentum. How do you want to spend it? Thank it. Okay. Gannis. Who all got injured? Uh, one of the uh, ship's crew. Uh, three, uh, three of the uh, ship's crew members got... Um, two got killed, one got wounded, and Fausto got wounded. Because uh, Gannis doesn't think it's smart to fire big rocks when there's a giant ally... Uh, octopode in the water there so he has some healing so he'll take this turn and and do a heal on the injured crew okay um medical check i think it's medical in this i think uh, it's labeled as healing uh, yes it is healing right. you are correct yep healing roll it how you want to spend that momentum um bank that as well okay all right so yeah the, the guy that was wounded on the deck um you you managed to pull out the uh the the wooden splinters that are in him you kind of bandage him up and he he kind of brushes himself off and kind of like gets ready to get back up and start working is that everyone no lambro um, you still need i to didn't go. have him gone yeah nope. yep you need to go okay um well, fucking shit. There's still more people to um, heal up. Uh, there's two dead. If you want to try to bring them back. <laughs> I don't have those abilities. No. <clears throat> I'll uh, actually I can take anybody's role and do it. Correct. Yes. Except okay. for, I mean, you can't do anything with the helm because it's our. It can only do one, uh, one round. It can only do one move yep. around. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna order. Uh, how many crews are left that need some ordering? Because it's hard to tell with. The only the, the only person that has a an action, um, or a uh, a set is let's see here pirate NPCs. Uh, is Freya's group and uh, Lee? Who? Which group did you want to order to be ready? Did you want to loot uh, Alteros or Dahabs? Uh, Dahabs. Them too. So you have Alteros Marines. Um, Orsu is still there. You have the Ballista crew, and uh, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> oh, and the the regular the regular crew member crews, which are. Oh, you have, let's see here, Alcina, Taito, and Trinikos. Okay. Um, I'd order Altaro to uh, prepare his crew for boarding. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. He 
He does that by saying, are you ready? Arr. Okay, so he readies his men up. They're they're uh, they're ready to to take an action whenever you you tell them to. So now it's the the surprises turn. So you're you're closer now. You are you are a lot closer. Um, you can see the crew members scrambling around trying to uh, deal with this this creature of the deep that is now just wrapping them wrapping itself around their ship and flailing at them trying to kill them. Um, where'd my surprise? There they are. All right. So the first person that goes is the captain. You can see the captain on board just gesturing and yelling and uh, trying to get her crew uh, back into their, uh, or excuse me, not their senses, get a hold of their senses and prepare for battle. So I'm not going to tell you what happens with that. I'll describe it here in a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay, that'll be fun. Uh, let's see. He gets technical monster like a Japanese anime. Yes. Chilled monkey brains. Very delicious. All right, so on board the ship, you see you see those their Marines starting to kind of jump around and just stab anything that they can. It doesn't seem to be really doing too much. Uh, what does happen, though, let me double check this. Did I go through? Nice. Agility. Nice. Okay, good. That works perfectly. So you see the captain kind of yelling. You can't hear over the thing. But the, the crew of on the Argosian fire turns towards the center of the ship where these tentacles are starting to reach across and try and grab people and drag them down to the depths. And it just erupts all across the deck. You see the javelin was about to turn and fire on something, but it just goes up in smoke. Like, it just immediately catches up. You can hear the screams of people on board this ship as they try to jump off into the water and to their, you know, basically, they're choosing between being on fire or being attacked by this kraken. And so they jump into the water. Um, and almost an entire squad of crew members jumps off to their doom. The ballista is completely destroyed, but you he also hear an almost inhuman scream come from the water and the tentacles kind of lash around and sink back into the water with the Argosian fire still gripping onto them. On the front of the ship, you can see these tentacles reach back up to where um, Severian had told, you know, the, basically this creature to let go and it's starting to squeeze and splinter the front of this ship. Whatever is in the water is incredibly angry right now. And so... Bad dog. <laughs> it's almost as if... Somebody's trying to send a message to you. Uh, combat. Sorry, give me one second. Uh, wrong group. It's about sending a message. About sending a message. You see a, a, a female... Uh, clatter up to the front on the forecastle of the ship with a group of archers and arrows begin to fly across the uh, the the sea and spatter around your ship. Let's see if they hit. OK, so right now I'm at one doom. OK, um, or I, I know how it is. Never mind. OK, so this would be do, 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 combat check. Agility, difficulty two. roll. And who is this? This is Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri. Dimitri, uh, where are your Marines? There's your Marines. Okay, Sibo. Attack. Wall. Back. Okay. 
So that's one, two, three. And so some of these arrows actually land on your ship. And uh, let's see who they hit, though. I'm too small of a target. You are too small of a target, but the arrow actually hits some of your catapult crew. So let's see, let's see the kind of damage this does. Uh, it was the Marines, which was Marines, Sebo. Oh, oh good, there's no effects. So one of your crew members on that catapult takes an arrow to the leg. And he's the testicle. He goes, ah! Um, just break it, it up. Just stick it. No, I mean it's. He's not dead. He's hurt, but he's not dead. Just break it up. Just break it off. It's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see here. So that's that. And one last thing. Okay. All right, you guys are back up. <clears throat> um. Oh. Fausto. Yes, Captain. What is the beast doing? Do you still have control? I never had control. Do you have any inclination as to what it's going to, what it is doing? It does not look happy after that fire. It will do as it wishes or as Dagon commands. As I said, we must keep our range. How bad is the fire that I can see on the deck? You already see people fighting it. It's going to go out. What's the, uh, what's the, the beast doing currently? The Kraken. It's trying to squeeze the front of the ship. Okay. <clears throat> Fausto. Can you, can you get its attention back on the crew as we approach? I would not tempt up such a thing. I can already sense its anger. To do so would to turn it would turn it upon us. I understood. Um alright. Aaron. I continue to take us in. I Alrighty, half we can take us around it. Take us at a half sail and take us shut up, dwarf. Um, went wow. straight east, we could come Southeast. around the backside. Yeah, 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 that's a good answer. Around the outside. On this way. Around the outside. Around I'll the bank. Outside. I'll bank that. Two trailer again. park pirates. Okay. Two trailer park pirates. All right, so you can move thirty <laughs> yards. Thinking like right here. Okay. Okay. All right. What's the rest of you doing? <clears throat> Uh, Guinness, once again, doesn't want to smack Octomom in the face with a rock, so She he, might jump right into porn. <laughs> he turns his attention to helping his, uh, crewmate with his leg problem. H healing check. So he, he patches at his leg, we'll see if he's successful don't, I mean, first. Don't you have, a, like, a leg problem or something? <laughs> Whoa. Rude. Third, third leg problem. He has a third leg problem. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you want to spend that momentum? I'll bank the momentum, and uh, so as he he's doing whatever would be best for an arrow, which would breaks be it, if it breaks it's, it it's, and pulls it through the other side or whatever, based on how it's in his leg. But he curses at the sailor and tells him to be less of a pincushion next time. He just looks at you like. Thank you. Uh, now he's... All right. Now get back to work. <laughs> Fausto, Gannis, Cord. Um, who else? Is, is there anyone else that needs healing pretty bad right now? No, you got two dead on the deck, and that's it. Everyone else seems to be all patched up. 
I need mental healing. You're welcome. Mm. I'm not so great at mental healing, but I can try that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, I'm, that should be like your specialty. Um, I, <laughs> I'm going to try and do that, actually, um, since we're still at a bit of a range. I don't want to try and do a display yet. So I'm going to approach um, uh, Aaron here and, and start uh, trying to give him some counseling, basically. Oh, that's tell, nice, me, tell, me, tell me what you're saying to him. Aaron, Aaron, do not fret. Father Dagon is here to aid us. Do you not see? Oh, we'll see I how see badly I fail. Something. All right, uh, difficulty one. If he fails, he just tells him, calm down, man. It's okay. <laughs> Look, it would just be best if you calm down, okay? Dude, uh, calm down. Uh, roll uh, 2d6, Fausto. Uh, it just says three points, unless you want oh, me to still points? do that. No, no, I don't that's fine. Cheat, no, no, three know. points. No, three points is fine. I was giving you a chance to increase that, but... Um, so, uh, three points back. That's I'm back to full, baby. All right. That was so. very inspirational, Fausto. Thank you. Cord, Lambro. You know, you're right about that Dagon guy. <clears throat> you know, Dagon uh, isn't a bad guy. Does, does the does the Kraken look like it's going to peel off when we come in? Like, <laughs> Give, have you ever seen a Kraken before in your in <laughs> your history? Just I'm, just whatever, asking. I'm just asking. I, no, no, I, I'm just really asking. I really don't. I really think it's the first time uh, Cord's ever seen a Kraken. He's been a not not really engaging with many Krakens in his time. Okay. Uh, you have no idea. Uh, you know from all of your stories that very few people live to tell about a Kraken, even if they're sh- they're in multiple ships around it. Um, wow. Um, hmm. I'm definitely like, Bowstone. Oh, we can't attack. We can't attack with it right there. Are we really going to do this? Captain. We are going in. We are taking Not the long way. We are giving the beast time to do what it does and stay out of its way. Yeah. Prepare yourself. Well, I'm uh, I'm preparing myself. I'm, yeah, I yeah. consider myself prepared. Okay, consider yourself prepared then. Prepared. Uh, uh, let's <laughs> see here. You wait. You you are within javelin range. How well are your men it's gonna, aiming? It's gonna be hard, but you, you're in javelin range. I'm not gonna risk hitting the fucking crack, and the crack uh, is my biggest concern right now. Sad. Yeah, okay. it's probably not a bad idea since we're still in front of it. Maybe once we come to the side, we can aim a little easier. Since it's focused on the front. You do not want to crack the Kraken. <gasps> Lambro, what are you doing? I am going to order Freya's crew to prepare herself to board. Command check. Difficulty one. Prepare bump, bump, bump. to board. Prepare to board. Where's my thing? Here it is. How do you want to spend Bank the it. momentum? Bank it. Okay. So she's. You now have two commands that she can do. So basically, two turns worth of actions for her. And the way let's see. we go. It happens here. Let's see. Let's see. Back to my folks. All right. So, with the um, the the Kraken's tentacles mostly on the front of the ship, the crew members are now kind of free to be able to do what they want to instead of concentrating on not dying. Um, you see. Hold on. Let me let me double check. Let me let me let me tell you first. Uh, this is personality. <laughs> wow. wow! Wow! Broken. She's broken. So, likes of the Argos. you. Uh, what you see is actually pretty interesting going on on ship. So you see the the kraken on the front of the ship, right? And the the captain just looks completely out of sorts with what's going on and she's giving orders and but what you see is is the the flames that are on deck instead of being smothered they begin to kick up 
like they're getting bigger. They wrap around the main mast and begin to catch the sail. Nope, that's not who I wanted. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I know you're in here. Nope. Nope. All right, so we'll go with... You look, you look like a handsome kind of fella. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice. Hey, I'll tell you what happens here in a minute after I get done with my other rolls. Oh my, the Kraken's legs go on for miles. Okay. More complications. Yep, I, I already have one for that one too. <laughs> nice, okay, all right. Cool. And last one. They're all scared of the fire and the cracking. Nice. Okay. All right, so. Let's talk about what just happened. So the, the captain on board just cannot get control of what's happening. In fact, you see the, the she's trying to order people to contain the fire that's on board the deck and it, it's just not working. The flames are kicking up more and more and they start to catch the sails. One of the Marines is trying to get control of the situation, but before she can do anything, a tentacle reaches out from the water, wraps around her and drags her to the sea. Oh. One Marine manages to step forward and is trying his best to get a hold of everything. And it's 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 him. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, the, the one that was doing the orders wasn't actually trying to stop the flame. She was trying to get the Argosian fire to aim at you and shoot, because right now you're is just as big a threat as the Kraken. And because the Kraken is mostly on the front of the ship, she can't get that thing aiming downwards. We'll handle that in a second. Um, the uh, the Marine that was trying, a male Marine that was trying to order these, these guys to stop the fire ends up as the one that gets drugged underneath the water. Unfortunately, the Argosian fire first starts to stream out this way and then works its way around and it strikes your ship right on the front of it. Your ship catches on fire and begins to take on damage. So, let's see here. The Grim Argosian has Damn, two armor, so you take four um, structural damage. If it would have been one more, you would have taken a break. So, lucky for you. How many breaks do we get? You have eight total, so you have four left. I can't get a break. Let's see here. How far away are you? Okay. Oh, this is going to be... Let's let's make this really interesting. Fausto. Yes. You feel as if something is suctioned from your mind, as if there's a ripping away uh, from your mind. And as you look at the front of the ship, the tentacles all sink down below the water and the beast's shape kind of starts to become black with the, the blue of the sea as the night begins to fall. There's a streak that heads out this way. And it's so fast that your ship begins to feel a pull. And what happens here is... Doug, how do you draw a template? Uh, go to the templates tool, which is the second button down, and then choose the shape. Everyone see that template? 
Yeah. Yes. At its center, a whirlpool begins to form. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the, right. the Kraken, the Kraken has a special ability. Um, it's called Leviathan. It starts, it has a personal pool of 10 doom. It can spend five doom to create a whirlpool as it goes away so quickly. The Argosian fire coupled with it getting kind of stabbed and it, it just got a kind of crunch. It has this guy that's trying to order it around. It's like, eh, I'm done. And it heads off. But this shit, I'm out. So a whirlpool I has don't. formed, is beginning to form in this area. It takes us back to you, Lambro. <clears throat> well, I'm Aaron. Get us out of this whirlpool. Head northeast. North northeast. We should go full sail. Prepare the foremast and the main mast. Oh. I would like to remind you that your ship is on fire. And at the beginning of your next turn, it will take incendiary damage. I'll deal with the fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just... I haven't made I'm just letting you know. Yet. I'm just, just, just letting you know. Let Aaron know first. Okay. I know. I know. Cord is ready to, you know, repair some shit too. I don't know. Cord and his marines. Mm. Mm. Pretty sure they're on standby. Yeah, we can. We can go fucking beat that shit out. Yeah, yeah. just go literally yeah, beat yeah, it out. I've got, I've got a terrible crap roll. Get some fire blankies. Just We're gonna rub one out real quick. Yep, just fire I mean, off a set of knuckle children onto the ship. That's what I was thinking when you said it that way. <laughs> All right, so what's happening here? Who's doing what? <clears throat> I'm sailing the fuck out of here, full mast. Okay, full so sail. in order to get out of this whirlpool, it's a difficulty three. All right, I'm using uh, momentum. Can I use two momentum here, three yeah, momentum, guys? Yeah, hold on one sec. I need to drop that down one, too. Okay, there you go. Yeah, okay. devil on my shoulder is saying that if we went directly into the whirlpool, we might both douse the fire and find something cool in the process. Yeah, I don't what? know about that. <laughs> We're going down the drain. Haven't you seen Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. <laughs> we of can't the Caribbean? Water. We're not skeletons. Uh, did you just say Caribbean? Leave him alone. Yeah. Leave him alone. Okay. <laughs> what? Don't, don't, don't judge to, me. Don't, don't fucking talk to handsome Doug like that. All right. Roll it. So, so difficulty I'm spending, three. I'm spending the momentum. Yeah. yeah, so you just plug it into the, uh, the roll thing. It'll do it. Oh, I can only do maximum of three. All right, so yeah, I'm saying. I'm not a physicist, but I think we would want to go like tangent to get out. You tangential would be like that. All right, I got three. Yeah, well, we're in it, so that's tangential. Oh, how do you, how do you want to spend that momentum? By like getting uh, the fuck out. I, you what know, the what the fuck? To be honest, as long as we get out of it, I mean. Can I just bank the rest if we don't need it? Right? Yeah, we're not going on. in, are we? Okay. Damn. Yeah, no. we're banking it off. Bank the yeah. moment. So 30, 30. You fix the ship. 60 yards. Yep. Dale, so fast through the rain, you put out the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so I think I think we can let things be how they're going to be. So what are you doing with the ship now that it's out of the the whirlpool? Well, first, uh, first focus is going to be putting the fire out. OK, let's uh, who's putting the fire out? Um, I'll order uh, Cord and his Marines to do so. I was say, I'm going to order someone to do it because I have no craft. I'm going to tell my Marines. I order you all to do it. Yeah, can I oh, make a end test? If, if on it that? requires craft, then I believe um, our um, short short yeah, pirate yeah, so short, round? Actually, short round. Gannis is actually the best equipped person to do. <laughs> Andy, cover the and, fire, Andy. Uh, or you're hot. Can I can I can I assist him by commanding okay. him? I actually don't know how command works in this game. I'm sorry. So you um, could you could command others to help him. I'm gonna like be like catapult crew and stuff like that. I'm gonna be like crew. Have your dwarf. He has need of you. Uh, is that a different difficulty average? Um, so you would roll 1d6 at your command check. So just do a command check and I'll take the first die. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah. So yeah, the uh, the catapult crew and one of the the ship's crew moves to help Gannis. Uh, Gannis craft check difficulty one two two. Ooh. Okay, so you barely make it. Am I able um, to use any momentum to? You would. You have to do that with the roll. Did, did I actually generate uh, that momentum? Uh, no, you did not, because that would be your second die that did that success. Um, so that that puts out the fire. Uh, the front of the ship is fairly damaged, and you see that the ballista, the the lines on it, damaged as well as um, some of the parts. It's going to take a little bit of money to repair. Okay. Who's going to pay for that? <laughs> so the Another fire's out. Act. Are you are you heading out? Are you leaving? Is, did the um, surprise go under? I mean, you would have to weigh anchor in an area where a beast just caused a whirlpool. And the guy who commanded it is on there. On your ship. What? Do you want to wait around? <clears throat> um, since we're pulling out of combat, um, I would basically ask the crew, do we want a prize? I do. But. It, what? Nothing. Let's go. Continue. But it is on the crew. Shall we head back to Nunca? Or shall we see if we can get some wealth out of this? Has the Kraken actually did withdrawn? It's no longer there. I mean, unless you got sonar on this ship, you have no idea where it is. Bing. 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 <laughs> um, fuck. So, um, damn. Well, how fucked up are we? What percent is our ship at? We have all health bars on, don't we? Half, we're like, you're a half. We're, we're half. half, half, half and how fucked up do they look? Well, as from what you can see right now, they might not be coming out of there. I mean, we could hang around a safe distance from the whirlpool, right? I mean, if they come out, we take them. If they don't, they don't. Do, do some FC repairs while we wait to see if they make it. Could do that. Our helmsman could keep us away from the rocks and the whirlpool. Easy. It's easy. 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 Um, DG, easy. Easy. D DG. Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, well, yeah. All right. Let's uh, if everyone's down with that, let's do that. I'd order Kurd Kelmick, excuse me, Kelmick to keep his eyes on the surprise since he's still up there enjoying himself and the view. Mm -hmm, OK, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> uh. um, then um, I'm going to order some crews to do what we can do on the ship to fix it for the moment. Fausto, observation check. Uh-oh. <laughs> do you see your death coming? Do you not fear death? Kraken's like, why'd you make me do that? Uh, today is a good day to die. I'm going to use one momentum on that unless anyone disagrees. Do it. Do it. I disagree. Too late. <laughs> there you I go. Take back. that momentum back. Yeah. There is something hanging off of your onto the ship, like almost like a barnacle on the side. It's just above the waterline. You feel it more than you see it. It's a tracking beacon. Captain. There's something on the ship. Is it your beast? I'd go over to that side and see if I can. I as well figure run that out any, side any further. Look. There is this. It's probably about. I don't, I don't know if you can see. Let me see. Yeah, you can see it. It's probably about that big around. Right. It's just this chitinous claw that's just attached to the, the ship. It's 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 the tips of its claw has pierced the uh, the, the hull of the ship and it's just holding on to there. Oh, looks like old 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 uh, eight sides is going for a ride. Wait, uh, just the, the claw, claw, or that's all? No, that's you can see the, the claw, right? And um, uh, in the Wait, water, kind of, you can just barely see it. It's very shiny, and you see this crab 
that's in the water and it's probably about a barrel size like a 55 gallon barrel uh, like a, a sized <laughs> crab that's hmm. just holding on to the side of the ship so we're going uh, to eat well tonight boys interesting i'd like to uh go ahead and cast uh what is eat. the name of it Com- commune leg. with the commune with the wild yes how reflective is this surface of the shit it's very shiny very shiny mm, okay um it, it's about barrel size it's definitely not magic though uh, go ahead oh, okay. uh, cast cast your uh, sorcery uh, spend the resolve cast your sorcery can i roll it this way or oh yes, yeah you can it looks like there's a cast cool um i'm gonna spend one momentum on that okay what difficulty uh two Wow. Um, so okay. you you get a feeling of panic from this creature that it was it was kind of uh, I don't know if have you ever seen crabs swim. It's very terrifying. Right. They, yeah. they kind of just flutter through the, the ocean. And so you get in your mind that this thing was just, you know, Jimmy jamming along and this massive octopus look at thing tried to eat it but it got away by grabbing onto your ship it feels like it, it, if you bring it on ship it might be very well behaved <laughs> new press is right. it big um, enough to try and eat me um it can, can I, do damage to you can I um spend that momentum um Oh, wait, never mind. That's the alternative effects thing. D- disregard that. Uh, yeah, I, I would get like some rope and throw it overboard and see if I can get it to understand that I'm I want it to climb up and uh, be safe here with us. So it's got a big claw and a little claw, right? It uses its little. It, this thing seems pretty intelligent. It grabs onto it with the little claw and it lets go with the big claw and you can haul it up. All right. I my strong that. hand. Pick my strong hand, child. Um. Fausto, give me an animal. What is this? Skills. Uh, it's not. It is. I can't remember. Do we have a pet crab? It should be animal, animal handling. Give me an mind. animal handling check. All right. I thought I had better animal handling, but I guess not. No. So, so uh, Fausto, if you it's choose, it. you now have a, a friend. For life. Mm. Yes, absolutely. This is familiar. Uh, so uh, this is your familiar. Um, welcome. But I'm, but I'm hungry. He, he is, he is a, a blessing from Dagon. He understands very, very. He's a crab, right? I mean, he's a crustacean, but you know, everything kind of progresses towards crab-like features, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, he's a crab. Um, you can't do too much in training of him, but um, he will protect you and follow you around. All right. Glorious. He leads the fight onto the ship. <laughs> <laughs> so once, from what you can see, the surprise has been claimed by the deep. But the waves, that it's getting, it's dark, right? By the time that the whirlpool has finished, it is, it's, it's completely pitch black. It's a moonless night. Uh, you can see a lot of debris floating around on the uh, around the whirlpool, but that's about it. And it still whirls. It does not whirl. It, the whirlpool is over. <clears throat> Take us through that area to. Um, we shall search the debris for any floating bounty, and then Flop we shall head handsome. to Nuncum. Thank you. Flotsam, and then Jetsam. Officer, whoever's whoever's going to sail through, do the sail check, and um, whoever's going to be scouting, do an observation check. I would order Kelmick then to do the observation check. Command check. So, Kelmick, as you, where's the the sail check? I haven't seen it yet. Aaron, 
helmsman. Yes, hang on, sorry. Yes. So, because of the wind, the wind's starting to pick up now with the storm. You're, you know, even tacking, you're kind of not covering the area um, very well. Uh, you're kind of just moving around inside of it, zigzagging as much as you can, but you know that there's a wide area that you have missed. Um, okay. You don't really see too much um, in the way. You see a banner laying there in the water. Uh, there's a couple of people um, crying for help, but that's about it. Ooh, banner. Yeah, we'll scoop the banner up, and then we'll uh, send her nor northwest. Home. Cap you, you leave Captain the people? Fausto. Did you freeze, Fausto, or are you just holding your face? I think he froze. Yeah, yeah he froze. Is it, is it a magic trick? <laughs> Let's take screenshots. <laughs> it's, wow. it's the toll of communing with such beasts. <laughs> wow. Hey, Gannis is doing <laughs> any at sea repairs that he can do right now. Okay, uh, go ahead and do a craft check. Difficulty two. Two? Yep. Can I use momentum? Can I yes. use the momentum? I'm gonna use the momentum. Cord, what's going, what's going on with Cord while he's doing that? Uh, so the fire is out and we have a pet crab, right? Yeah, that is, that is what happened. And, um, you affect, <laughs> you affect two, um, two points worth of repairs and plus You're one moving if you now, Doug. spend that on the momentum. You're good now, Steph. Um, oh, okay. I think Core is chilling after what not having a fight, but he's still he's kind of look, looking over the sides and looking at the waters because he's real nervous about the fact that a big old kraken disappeared. So, uh, Gannis, you're able to repair two or plus one if you want to add that uh, momentum add, together. Add it into the repairs, please. Okay. What was Fausto going to say? Yes, Fausto. Yeah. So, Fausto, um, when we start sailing by, some of the people shouting out for help say, Captain, would it not be wise to take some of those as prisoners and let them free somewhere to tell the tale of what's happened here? I like the way you think, Fausto. Hoist them up, men. Prepare yourselves for any funny business. So you you manage to pull a couple of prisoners up. You get let's see here. I would say one, two, three. You get five different people up there. Mm. Okay. Put them in irons and take them below. Aaron, we shall head north northwest. Aye, Captain. We are heading home. Oh, no barrels uh, of food or water floating around or rum. No, not really. Everything pretty much was destroyed by that. Uh, the. Um, the boosty, the, the whirlpool. <laughs> so you should be loading up onto the other map as soon as you do. Destroyed um, the Debussy. De de destroyed Debussy. <laughs> I love Debussy. Um, he didn't get the bot, though, so we're safe. Um. So what's the plan? You heading uh, heading north towards Nuka or full sail to Nuka? Okay. So it's night. Uh, you're gonna have to. It's gonna take. Looks like one, two. From now it would be two days, right? Because you got a day and a half. So it'd basically be you would be pulling in on the night of the next, the day after next. Let's take a look at on this the day of the captain's wedding. Uh, where is party resources? So as it stands right now, you got one grog uh, ration left, five days of water, four days of food. So yeah, you you have more than enough uh, supplies to make it if you don't want to roll. Um, yeah, I'm good with that. Crew good with that? Yeah. So... It's it's a it's a you know you go slow nice and uh, orderly and what during this time Gannis and Cord are working to repair um, the damage that was done by the fire and the ballista bolt and um, 
the crew that you interrogate, you know, I'm sure you talk to them. They're they're mostly just Marines and um, uh, sailors. Uh, it doesn't look like you have any officers uh, from the ship itself. So, Fausto, are you going to do anything weird to him? <laughs> Not yet. You do any funny sorcery <laughs> business? <laughs> going to do anything? You know, anything witchy? <laughs> any, okay. Anything How witchy? many are there? Uh, I, I think I said five. You got five different people. Okay. Uh, I'll just keep that in mind in case uh, you know something comes up. You got a name for your crab yet? Um, no, I don't know that Fausto would give a name to it, actually. Okay. At least not a name that humans would understand. Gotcha. So... You can't see it by the Crab. You, you kind of keep to the shore. Call uh, the, 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 the The tides are with you. The wind is with you. And it's not too long before, you know, it's another day and a half. You, easy going. Um, when you start to see the, the lights of Nuka in the distance. And immediately upon seeing Nunca, something in Captain Lambro's gut drops. There are ships there. Like normal, there's normally ships coming in and out of here. Nunca is basically mini tortage. Um, but with law and order, right? Because the, the three individuals, your former captain, Heimdall the Grey, along with... Um, uh, Belit, if anybody's actually read any of the Conan stories or um, listened to the audiobooks, Belit is a uh, the queen of the Black Coast. Um, and it's the same one. And Lu Fang uh, set set to creating this place and have a little bit more order than Tortage does. What makes your gut drop is, is that you see a junk the ship of Lu Fang, one that's not normally there, but more so you see a large galley pulled upon shore that flies the colors from the Black Coast, Baylit's ship. It's not normal for these two to be here. As you begin to pull closer, Freya comes to you. I'm sorry, not Freya. Um, where are my PC NPCs? Dahab, 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 and Altero uh, both come to you um, as as Nuka c comes onto the horizon. Dahab looks out of sorts. Are all of you there? By the way, would you guys all like to be on the uh, in the captain's quarters during this time? Yes. Yeah, we were That'd enjoying cool. some some grog, we're relaxing. Drink at the Around cruise the grog. Table. That's cool. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah, drink the cruise grog. I'm sure they're going to love that. Um, Dahab, Altero is smoking his pipe quietly. Dahab does not look happy. So they rap on the, uh, the captain's door before they come in, being all polite. Enter. So Dahab comes in and uh, Altero's just kind of puffing on his pipe and he they both look at the, the, the officers here. Altero looks at Dahab. Dahab looks at Altero. Gannis runs across the ocean because he's actually Jesus. Um, and Dahab says, Captain, we must speak. Are you saying privately, or is this not something the crew can hear? I would not want the new crew or the, the crew to hear, but uh, your officers are uh, men of action. They can hear this. Then I would dismiss anybody that's not my crew. So Tahab would look at everyone that's that's there and says, Captain. You will be lucky to be able to crew this ship once we arrive in Nunca. What say you words of such nature? Freya and Orso have been talking with the crew. Many of the crew members have believed this ship to be cursed. They do not want any part of this ship anymore. Nunca is the best place for them to go. They can find a, a, a join another crew or just spend some of their earned wages there. 
They are not tied to the ship, remember. These, this is part of our code. We are not the Navy. If they wish to leave, they can leave. I want to tell you that you will likely have almost no sailors. Um, I have decided to stay with you. Altero is still in the air about whether he wants to or not. His marines are telling him to leave. You have to understand, Captain. First, this ship was moored into doldrums by evil magic. We were almost destroyed by Argosian Navy. We were, we, the first time that we used our weapons, we sank a wizard ship and suffered for it. We were faced by a privateer and a kraken appeared. And now, it Fausto, is your crab with you? Um, sure. Yeah, if he fits in the, the is he big cabin enough to here. Fit okay. in there? Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting there. Crab, we go to the captain's court. <laughs> this, is, this is the Marylander representation I needed. He likes the, he likes the he likes the pinch uh, Gannis, right? Ooh. Um, Does he say I pinch? It's a morsel. <laughs> I pinch you. I pinch you. Um, he would drink grog if you gave it to him. I crack him with a hammer. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh god! <laughs> or god! Now who be cracking? <laughs> now who's the cracking? I'm the cracking now. Look at me. Um, and Dahab looks at the the crab that's in here, and he he just kind of gestures at it, like she's like Captain. No sailor is staying on this ship once it pulls into port. My, my, if you, would you hear my advice? I'm always open to your advice. Continue. This ship is too big for a pirate. If you remember, the cog that we were on before is still moored here in Nunca. You would probably keep many of the crew members if you switch ships. Otherwise, you are going to have to come up with a new crew. Understood. And I would look to the table. And um, any of our men um, have purser skills. So that would be almost like, I would say, quartermaster type duties. So understanding of math and money and, and things like that. How many fingers does Cord have left? <laughs> can you count the 10? Cord can count the 10. He's got all his fingers. Um, I've got good, what the fuck is, counsel is the skill, right? It's your ability to be able to calm people down after a fight and get their, um, what's your behoozy back? Right? Their, uh, uh, resolve back. I actually don't see anything, any skills related to trade. It'd be accounting, I think it's accounting. Oh, oh, there's straight up an accounting skill? I think so, hold on, let me, I can't remember off the top of my head, let me look. Uh, I, I switch back and forth through so many different... Fair. I, I would say I have strong personality. I'm good at persuading people and knowing about society and shit. So, like, I think that I can swing being persuasive in a, in a deal. Okay. We do live in a society. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, I mean, that kind of stuff I would I would leave up to whatever, you know, the situation was. I mean, counting, you can count. Yeah. Number. And by the way, have I have I healed back to full? Have we healed back to full? Yeah, resolve everyone's everyone's returning? back to full resolve and vigor. All right, uh, Conan the librarian. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna. Court's gonna say, Captain, why settle for one ship when we could crew two? We could crew two. All we need to do or is we'll recruit we new sailors and out as for. Alantaro, we have no quartermaster now, yes? As you heard, he said most of the crew would come with us if we take care, change ships. Mm, so what would happen to this ship if we change ships? We sell this ship and we, we take the money and we upgrade our own, we restock, we find men, and we go back out to sea and plunder some more. I'm thinking about it and I'm like, now, Captain... I hate to be such a voice of dissent here, but I feel like the real problem is that a kraken sunk the ship that we could have taken as a prize. If everybody was rich on privateer gold right now, they'd be ready to head out again. And if we got caught by the surprise in just a wee cog, and they had such favorable winds as to catch us, we would have just been defenseless. I don't think a smaller ship would well suit us. I think we need to make sure that we take our treasures. The surprise is looking for an Argosian vessel. 
Well, the surprise is dead, so that's one less person looking for an Argosian vessel. And along with the crew, the only ones that know what ship we go to ourselves. The Argosian Navy would still be looking for a, the grim Argosian itself, and once sold, they will take a new name. We have a ship okay. in port. Mm. What say the rest of you? You all get a say in this. Vote time. Vote time. I love democracy. <laughs> I promise to get better with the catapult if we keep it. <laughs> you yeah, will. The, young. the cog did have a ballista. Yeah, you this will one has two. Janus wants more. It, well, Here we go. Why? it has Why? a catapult and a burnt ballista that you got to repair. So it can repair I have, it. I have two ships. When we could have. Three ships. <laughs> I, why make trillions when we could make billions? <laughs> we have not enough. Are you saying to form our own navy? Pirate navy? Is that what you wish? We're not in the pirate business. We're in the empire business. We're all here to get rich. The more men and the more ships that we take on, the less bounty we split upon ourselves. Not to mention loyalty issues. I trust you men, and I trust few that we can choose to go with us on the small ship. We can so still do enough. We took this ship with her. We still have plenty we can do. So Altero, smoking on his pipe. He's been quiet this entire time, and he, he kind of looks at Cord for a minute. And he says, Cord. Terror. What you say may not be a bad idea. You know that sailors lots are uh, superstitious superstitious men. If you were to split the crew, perhaps yourself, or um, he kind of puffs away and he looks at Fausto and then looks at the crab. He's like, I do not believe the men would follow you. Um, and he looks at Gannis for a minute and he's like, perhaps. And he looks at Aaron and he's like, you are too young. But he puffs away for a second. He says, if you were to captain the the cog I believe many of these sailors would go with you and then he looks at Lambro and he says and he puffs for a minute and he's like wait that's nah, behind a bunch of shit never mind um he puffs away for a minute and he's like and then you would no longer be captain Lambro would you what would we not of us we would not have a second vessel you would be admiral I, I, I see the, the 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 knowledge and the wisdom behind such words from Cord, but the problem would still be manning the uh, Grim Argosian. And I don't know, none of the men will stay behind. You will be lucky if my marines remain behind. Dahab has already said because he has loyalty to you. Um, your other officers are looking to leave, so... It is an option, Captain. Um, and Dahab kind of is sitting there thinking about it. And he kind of nods his head. He, he thinks that it might work, but there's something there's something to his look, like like he, he has some kind of misgiving. I would say in Kushite to Dahab, tell me plainly, Dahab, what is this missing? So he, he looks back to Cord, and he, he always... It, there's, there's always... This is a man that does not smile, right? Like his his face is, face is in a permanent frown. And there's always this, when you speak to him in his native language, there's always a little uptick of his lip as he remembers that you, you know, are, he says, he says in, um, uh, in his language, uh, he's like, I do not trust Freya and I do not trust Orsu and I do not trust the sailors that would join him. You, you're going to be hard-pressed to 
get crew to man one vessel, it's going to be twice as hard to get crew to uh, for a second vessel. And then it's not even sure if you can trust them or not. Um, but, I'm going to say... Yeah. Go ahead. I will say, I what we need, and I'm going to say this in like the common tongue that we understand, what we need is such a treasure that when we go into Nunca, a port of pirates, and sell ourselves as a charter we're assigning on under the Admiral Ambro that none could deny treasure, the allure. Yes, something where there'd be so much bounty that any sailor would come aboard and any old misgivings could be discarded along with those who had them and those interested in blood, treasure, excitement might forget for a time that Lambro has been a man of discretion and calm, which has kept us alive this whole time, but which not always serve the pirate's vigorous temper. All we need is a score so tempting every pirate would sell his mother for it. We are sitting in it right now. But I mean, like, the kind of portable property one could take off with. If we could, if we could raid a port or steal some payroll vessel bound for some, some imperial fastness, we could, we could take such treasure at once time and with two vessels where one could never succeed, that anyone would sign on for so sure a job. Well, we don't have a crew. That's how we'll get the crew. We go to Nunca and we tell them of our plan, and we invite them to be part of the charter and enjoy the spoils. If we take uh, something that cannot be taken by one mere cog, there will be such dividends that they will not help but to give it up. Could go, and I mean, like, I feel like Cord knows several, like, fat prizes that I don't, like, in character. Do you, would I roll lore to think of a, of a likely target or a lane that one might normally not risk, but we could? Yes, with a free momentum spend from, uh, from, from, uh, oh, old from Tur. Tur. Yeah. Shout out to Tur. Tur's Caldex. character. Caldex. Hey, He's still here. Caldex behind me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, difficulty one, I'm assuming? Uh, yes, sir. All right, let's pop Over it. Dice. Let's fucking pop it. Ooh, <laughs> I almost had a four. Uh, well. Now, he might, but, you know, being a quartermaster and slightly more intimate with the previous captain prior to my blade meeting his throat. Um, perhaps I know some. I know at least several reputable sailors in different, in different ports that I could reach out to. So what, whenever everyone's kind of talking about this, Altero is kind of puffing away on his pipe and he looks at Gannis. And he's like, and what of you, little man? What do you think? Gannis is just like mulling it all over in his head, but also thinking about big siege weapons. Does he say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, actually, he he looks like he's, uh, you know, shaken out of concentration and he says, Sorry, I was thinking of how best to repair the ballista that got burnt up. With the money we sell on the Grim Argos, perhaps with your ballista, we could also add a spout for our Argosian fire. I think we saw that some messy business, but I'm all for more siege weapons. I am just telling you the options that we could possibly have. I like the idea of Admiral, obvious reasons. And with more men and more ships, that could mean more bounty, but it also could mean less bounty. So, Captain. Yes, I like the idea, but we'd have to keep someone we trust on the other ship and it would have to be in sight at all times. We'd have to sail together, otherwise risk it not being there when we come back. Yes, do not allow your ambition to cripple us. So Dahab's chest starts moving up and down. 
It's like kind of like going up and down a little bit. I mean, he's kind of it's an alien. It's an down. alien. It's it. And oh. back into alien RPG. Roll for <laughs> Eric. Hey, do oh. I get a sense? Is, is, am I going to go out on a, a limb here and guess he's looking at Fausto as his heart gets racing? No, he's kind of like looking down and he's just his his shoulders are starting to shake and his chest is kind of going up and down. And then he's, he, he kind of lifts up his head and you can see his white teeth just it's just like. <laughs> and he, he looks to Lambro and he says, Captain. I, I don't know if I need to tell you this, but you still need to survive Nuka. Did you not see the ships that are there? You're for the former allies of our former captain are probably there waiting for you. <laughs> you. You very well might meet your fate there. And this might all be for naught. <laughs> I will worry about them when we get on shore. I'm not worried about them. It is why would they waste... Everything was waste done by the code. Effort? Why would they waste effort avenging a dead person who can no longer give them any gain? I, I do not know, but the woman billet is, is changeable as the weather. Lu Fang is, is impossible to read. Who knows, but it just struck me as humorous. I was... I was looking down at this crab, and it, it just the, the insanity of this entire situation hits me. But Cord, and he switches into uh, native language again. He says... The Kusha, yeah? Uh, Kusha, yeah. And he says, he says, as much as I hate to say it, perhaps using the stories of the ship might actually bring you people. And Whereas like, the, the crew right now looks at it as a curse. You survived a Kraken. You survived a privateer. You survived a wizard. You survived the Argosian Navy. Yeah. And the weird crab is proof of our claims. Yes. You, and I, I think about it, and Chris, I respond, Yes, Dahal. That's the thinking. We're immortal pirates. We faced everything the Argosian Navy, the surprise, Krakens, whirlpools, doldrums, sorcerers, and we're still sailing. And Captain Lambro hasn't gotten us sunk yet, so. And he says, he says, uh, he says, if, and he says this in, uh, in uh, Argosian, which is the general language, he looks over at Lambro and he says, if you are to be Admiral, I would say that your, your man Cord should be the other captain. Gaddis speaks truth. You must have somebody you trust. Who else would you trust than your Sergeant of Marines? He is in here whenever Freya and uh, even myself and Orsu and um, and uh, Altero were not here. I think I think you would do good. This okay. So basically, what I'm saying as a GM is, is you you should split the party this time, right? Well, I was getting ready to say, um, I actually was going to get ready thinking about Altero and Dahab, but I can't trust them like I can trust. Yeah, the four think, others on my crew, and right now I would have told Lambro at some point that I think Altero is gunning for quartermaster. So I would have I would have let you know that beforehand if that's relevant. Okay, yeah, and so basically I would I would nod in agreement, and I would look towards Cord and I would say, "What say you, Captain? captain. Ah, Captain. Well, Captain to Captain." I'd say that this is the plan that's going to write the first chapter of our page in the pirate histories, Admiral Lambro. Now let's go ashore and show those captains your man they want to have a drink with. And so um, before before we, we shift over, Altero takes one more puff at his pipe and he, he, he kind of looks at Aaron and he says... And what of you, young man? You, uh... Are you, are you scared of this ship? Do you think that it is cursed? Would you not prefer to be on a different ship? Ah, uh, this is my... Uh, you know what? This is my ship. You know, cursed or not, I, 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 I love it. I love I waking up every day. I love polishing the, polishing the wood, rubbing it down, scraping the particles. I love every second of it. I, I, I wouldn't spend a minute off of it. Sit down, Lee. You're gonna get us banned. <laughs> God, I'm flashing over fucking Selby. Oh God, it's all, it's all new. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. That's it. Well, yeah, we're we're just just sort of guys. Yeah. All right. coming back well, on the Judge it. Wolf channel from now on. Good seeing you. Judge Dredd channel. Um, reported for spam. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he kind of nods and I think it's time. We got about 10 minutes left. I, I'd like to go to, I'd like to go to shore if we could. Let's row the boat ashore. Cool. Where's row, my row? That's the name of the Let's crab. Let's row the boat ashore. That's the name is Michael. <laughs> Michael Rowboat. So you, uh, you, you moor the ship out um, in, in sea. And uh, it's in this bay, so you, you're able to moor it safely and, you know, leave his crew behind. But for the most part, everyone is wanting to get off this ship. Freya is not saying anything to you. Orsu's not saying anything to you. Um, Cold they're they're grabbing the sailors and they're all kind of getting into their own rowboats and they're they're leaving because there's no prize money. Right. The what little money there was left over uh, is already, you know, basically in their hands from previous stuff. So there's nothing new to give. They're ready to get out and move. Um, so let's see here. Uh, here we go to Nunca. That's none of your business. <gasps> so it'll it'll take a minute to load, but uh, you're able to, you know, row, row to shore, and you can see the lights of Nunca, and you can hear the, the you know, it's loud. Uh, the, these are loud folks, um, and uh, the you know the whole area is lit, and what you kind of see is is a, almost like a fortress um, at first that has these giant ballista on it that would make Gannis cream his pants, right? Um, Mm. And they're very well maintained. Dreamed they're cab? Crude. Um, and, you know, he, he, he just, just... And uh, there's a dock there. And you row up to the dock. And hopefully you guys are loading, 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 loading. Um, yes, I should have preloaded. Um, yeah, I'm still at 90. Couldn't sit in there. It'll go in a second. Um, waiting on the dock is another man from the Black Isles. Um, he is, he has a, uh, a, a hide shield and a, a leaf shaped spear and he wears furs and a, a feathered headdress. And you recognize him as the caretaker of Nunca. Did you happen to catch his name? Um, I don't remember it, no. His name is Magoba. Oh, or, why has it got to be that name? Magaba? Excuse me, Magaba. How's it gotta be that name? And he's waiting for you there. Steward? Yes, he is a steward. Steward of Nunca? Yes. Okay. So we can we so, can leave our crew um, until then. As like, we get uh, off. Nice. Uh I would uh, make sure off. that would make sure that Fausto would bring his crab with us. Okay. Cause Fausto at this point right now I need to show force. And I need to be a, a show that and because I don't know what to expect from my former captain's cohorts. There we go. Everyone is. There it is. Yeah, I'm up. And so Magoba is waiting for you and uh, he kind of slams his spear onto the wood whenever you get there. And he's like, where is Heimdall? Heimdall is no more. I am now the captain of the Grim Argosin, the vessel behind you. I see. And how did he meet his fate? He, made, he met his fate by my blade, honoring the pirate's code. This doesn't faze him at all. Um, he just kind of stares at you for a minute, and he says, Well, you are in luck then, because Belit and Li Fang is here. They wish to see you immediately. They expected Heimdall. I was to escort Heimdall there. They are waiting for you. Okay. Um, also, I would have Heimdall's um, double-bladed axe with me. Okay. You're a double-bladed axe. Oh, I am. Then lead the way, Mogaba. We shall meet them. And so... He leads you back 
into the the Nuka Fort, and the rest of the pirates kind of start to head off into the small town that's just uh, southwest of it. What is Captain Lambro thinking right now as he's prepared to meet with the former allies of his now dead captain? Well, he, uh, one, is watching his back, but he's glad to have a big crab on him, on his side. Um, yeah, he's not sure. He knows that they're not going to take it well, but he hopes that as honorable captains that they will understand the pirate code and the situation in which they were forced into and the decision was made. And what does Dionysus think of this dog? Boop its nose. Boop. It's called a snoot when you boop it. Thank you. Boop the snoot. 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 All right. Get oh, down okay. here, big old baby. Fausto. Did you eat a whole wheel of cheese? <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> mad. That's amazing. Um, Fausto. Please stop. Yes. Doing, you know what? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> There's your pause, Lee. Fausto. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, so Fausto is, uh, I guess, on he's kind of on top of the world right now. He's he's feeling great running with this crew, um, and he just successfully uh, contacted Dagon, basically, you know, his his, uh, his patron deity. Uh, and while I'm talking, thank you for the follow, Steam Steel Murder. Thank you. I was going to oh. say that, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Thank you, Steam Steel Murder. <laughs> Steel. I know a guy named Steel, Steel. and he's fucking sexy. But yeah, F- Fausto's feeling great, feeling very confident, but trying not to uh, let that confident uh, confidence blind him in a way. Gannis, what's Gannis thinking right now? Uh, Gannis is uh, disappointed. He never landed a hit with his big machines. He's uh, planning repairs and he's... Uh, thinking of any any possible modifications that might help him land more hits in the future. I mean, all the politics stuff. He's been with pirates before. He's used to all the drama, the politics, the pirate bullshit. So he's along for the ride with that, but he's just, he's got a mind of mechanical things. Ballista over catapult. <laughs> that's, I can tell you, that's, that's how you land blows. Aaron, what's going through your mind right now? Well, um, at this point, I think I'm pretty invincible. So I hope I, I, I guess I just hope I don't get my ass beat um, in these a couple upcoming dialogues. Um, but after the whole endeavor, I mean, I'm, I'm on top of the world. And last but not least, Cord. Yeah, I mean, Cord's coming in. Cord uh, knows that meetings between important people can result in a whole lot of bloodshed, but often it's just so, you know, like the important people getting killed. So, you know, he's rolling in the back. He's not making too many sudden movements, but he's definitely scoping up any obvious signs that they're going to get red weddings because he is not about to get go down like a chump. Not so, you know, murked by Baylit. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not getting uh, I'm not getting my belly slit like a fish. I am eyes back in my head, but trying to play it like I'm cool. Fantastic. And so we're going to be leaving the the Pirate Isles for now um, as uh, we kind of end the uh, the show for today. Um, give me one second here. I need to switch over to where are you? Start music. There you are. And push that off. And so we leave off our Pirates. Um, as they get ready to meet Baylit, somebody from the Conan lore and Lei Fang, um, somebody new um, that they may not have met before who's not a part of the uh, Conan lore. Um, for us here at Tabletop Anthologies, I think this is our only show this week. Uh, we'll be picking back up next week. Maybe Pirates on Tuesday. Um, I gotta see because I am traveling all weekend and I might be dead tired. I am pulling an airstream across the country, so we'll see how that goes. Um, So, and then next week we have uh, Curse of Strahd on Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
we have Call of Cthulhu Saturday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. Nothing on Not, Sunday. Go not ahead, this sorry. weekend, but next, right? Right, correct. Next weekend, not this coming. And thank you for the cheer. Steam Steel Murder, we appreciate that. Um, that's what helps us pay for some of this artwork and, you know, support uh, the, the channel you can. And we really appreciate that. Um, I do want to take a moment before we do a raid to turn it over to Cord. Uh, hey, Cord from Diesel Shot, one of our very, very, very favorite. I would say you and Pat are the my favoriteest people that we've met off of Twitch, and you are our bestest of friends. So yeah, we give, love us you a, guys. Give, give a shout out for what you got going yeah, on. Jilden, this Javi, the person who several of you guys played with, uh, the Marai officer from the crossover stream of Chain Stars. By mm -hmm. the way, I showed him the costumes, and he's like, oh, shout him out. Tell them my, my comrades is high. So, hi. Yeah, no. Great, great uh, happy vibes between Diesel Shot crew, the Tabletop Anthologizers. We have, coming up this week, uh, our first sponsored stream. Tomorrow, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern, sponsored by Fool's Moon Entertainment. Wow. Give them a look. Interesting game company. And it is Worlds Without Number. We have created an amazing world. We've got surprise art coming up. We've got amazing action. And we have a little bit of a a bit menu and a channel point system where there's going to be three internal factions that as at least one player representative and you can with channel points influence them so come through find out this weird wacky the very small on the side fan world uh and see what the uh, spire sent are going to do on their adventure in arc spire and after that thursday you already know we've got fallout 8 30 p.m eastern through to midnight 30. we've got on saturdays Pat sci-fi slots. On Mondays, we have High Road, our 5e D&D &D game, where they are fighting a guerrilla war, but they've just gone for a Hot Springs episode after co conquering a third of the province. So that's going to be crazy. And uh, later tonight, in like one hour, you can catch Pat on Garblood Games' North America Spectaculars, where she plays a superhero in an interesting game. If you're into superhero stuff, I think Spectaculars mechanicizes the, I, the concepts of uh, superheroes in a really engaging way for tabletop setting. I'm not even that into superheroes, and I dig it. So that's the whole spiel. Thank you all for coming out. Excellent. I know I've seen some Gar Blaggers in the chat tonight. Glad that you could make it. Drop that follow also, if you haven't already. Tabletop Anthologies is nothing but gold. GM, you better start addressing him as Captain. Oh, well, Captain that's right. Ford, we'll, Captain. Uh, we'll make sure to update that as, you know, if, unless you all die at the beginning of the next one, so. I've okay. got a crab on my side. I'm not That's worried. That's true. I'm not worried. I'll give you the, the crab on my next. side. We're going we're gonna to end this one right because last time was really, really sad. Captain <laughs> Lambro, possibly Admiral Lambo, Lambro. What is best in life? What is best in life? Well, who was it last time that messed it up? It's Fausto. We won't talk about that. It's fine. <laughs> Crab, Crab Man? Crab well, Man. Everybody ready? Go. What is best in life? It is to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of their crab. This is good. And so to the audience, we just want to say that we love you. And if your prayers from Krom are not heard, then to hell with him. <laughs>